This video is for the federal investigation federal investigators that watches my videos. Friday Friday morning when I left here I went to the Wawa's. I was encountered by two Mexican guys. I honestly believe it's the guys from the cartel because it also was somebody following me today. So it's like they got something watching me when I leave my house. Because as soon as I left out my house today, this little fella followed me to the 7-Eleven and was watching me. And then followed me back out when I came out. But the reason I'm making this video is because after... I left the Wawa's Friday. I went to the emergency room. To Riverside to be exact. Now mind you, I'm gonna need y'all to this is what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to pull the footage from Friday and for every other time recently that I have been to Port Warwick and to Riverside. Because at Riverside, every time I go in there and get on my name, either it's a young lady already there with, with a cell phone that texts them to let them know that I'm there. Or either they a call the older, older white lady to come to the desk to take my information then before she even... Once she get my name, she automatically texts on her phone and let them know that I'm in the hospital, okay? And the reason I'm coming to y'all is because February of 22, Holy Spirit said that I was going to have a baby in 2023, okay? May the 13th, which was a a 22, which was Mother's Day weekend. May the 13th, the people that hacked my internet, my cell phones, and my YouTube channel had put a contract on me. And they supposed to have shot my house up May the 13th, 2022. So my kid's father had called me and said that he wanted to take me out for the weekend. Okay? Now, mind you, our child, our baby is in his 30s. Okay? That's how long it's been since I had my tubes tied. So, we went out and whatever. And we were intimate. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was intimate with him because I do love him because he's my kid's father. Even though I don't want to be with him because he haven't changed. But when I was with him, we didn't use no protection. I ain't gonna lie. And I told him, as soon as we finished, I told him, I said, if my tubes wasn't tied, I would swear to God that I just got pregnant. Okay? Because the only time I ever felt that feeling in my life is when I was impregnated with my kids. Boom. So, like the end of May, I went to the doctor to Brentwood Riverside. And I told them that I thought I was pregnant. They gave me a test. They said it was negative. Okay. So like a month later, I went to Port Ward. They said that it was negative. So I told them to take my blood. Okay. So I done took almost 10 pregnancy tests. Okay. With urine and blood. And all of them coming back negative. But see what the problem is. Divine told me. That there's somebody. In the lab that's altering my test. To make it seem like I'm not pregnant. So. I had. Well the hospital had me to take CT scans. CRT scans. Whatever they call that machine. They run you through. I done took three of those. So I was wondering, out of three tests, 
Nobody ain't trying to show me no pictures, no nothing. So this Friday, when I go to the hospital, and I tell the doctor that I need for them to give me an ultrasound, the one, not the one where they insert something in you, because the baby is not in my uterus. The baby is inside the cavity of my body. So the little lady, they gave me the test. Now, mind you, where my baby sits at, when she put the thing up there, the heartbeat was beating fast. She said, oh, that's your heartbeat, and snatched the machine away. And just like I said, that's some bullshit. Because after that, the man showed me the picture from the CT scan. Okay, the doctor did. And they knew that it was a baby inside of me because he tried to go through the, the CT scan so fast, like he tried to get away from where the baby was at. So I told him, uh-uh, go back. And that's why I need y'all to pull the footage because I had him to freeze frame it where you can see a baby's face in that picture, okay? So they keep telling me, you ain't had a period in two years or whatever and all of this. And just like I told them, I know my body. And I know I'm not an average human. So it's stuff that occur in me that won't occur in a normal human, okay? Because I'm immortal. That's the difference. And see, Divine told me the reason... He didn't let my fetus grow in my womb. It's because I had so many people doing black magic and voodoo and hoodoo and necromancy and Santa Maria on me. So they doing cursing my womb. So that's why he didn't grow it in my womb. But just like I've been telling them, April the 13th, I will be 11 months pregnant. Okay. That's why everybody's saying you gain weight. Yeah, I'm gaining weight because I'm pregnant. Okay. And I keep trying to tell them, which they already know. Because when I spotted that picture, that face in that damn CT scan, whatever that picture was, he got nervous as a bitch. Okay. That's how I know he was lying. So I need a federal investigator. That's into checking out medical fraud or medical cases. I need for somebody that know about CT scans, a professional, upright professional, to go and pull my three CT scans. Because I'm about to be 11 months pregnant and I need a C-section. So see, they're trying to kill my baby. Because they don't want me to be the first woman in United, in the world's history to carry a baby outside of the womb. Okay? But see, the thing is with Riverside, this is not my first encounter with Riverside. My first encounter with Riverside is when my son was denied by the Newport News medical transportation taking him to the hospital because he was having problems with his testicles, okay? So the lady didn't want to transport him, so I filled out the paper and told her to leave, and I called another ambulance. So when they rushed him to the hospital, they had to rush him straight into surgery, and he lost one of his testicles, okay? And the doctor that operated on him Told me that I had a, a lawsuit. Told me that he would testify for me. And when I started contacting lawyers, Riverside gave him his own private practice so he wouldn't testify for me. So I know that Riverside do crooked stuff because this ain't the first time they done did this to me. But I need some help. Somebody that's upstanding to help me save my baby. Because it's a boy. Divine already told me it's a boy. And I need some help to get him out. 
Because February, which was when I turned nine months, I had blood in my urine. That's because of the sack had burst that he is in, that he was in. So he is inside of me, moving around, <laughs> living his life. But I need help getting him out. They don't want me to go down in history. For being the first black woman to carry a baby outside of the womb. So they'd rather try to kill my baby by leaving it inside of me because they're trying to kill me also because they know that I got mad lawsuits against the hospital for them going into my helper files, giving it to the nurses, and them putting my stuff online. So they're trying to block me because of the Masons. Not all Masons, but the the rogue Masons is <laughs> paying a lot of people off to try to block me. Okay. A private investigator, I need you to give this footage. To so somebody in the FBI that's known for investigating stuff like that. I need somebody that know about CT scans as a professional to go in and pull my CT can CRT scans and I give you permission. Because it's a fetus inside my videos. That's why the doctor tried to cover it up. They're all trying to cover it up. It's somebody in their lab. Altering my blood, my blood results. And then the crazy thing, when I went to the lab to get my blood work done, the little young lady that took my blood, she was really nice. That little fine little girl that came in there, she said, oh, I've been waiting for you. So what you waiting for me? So what is y'all doing with my blood? I know <laughs> that it's a mad scientist is trying to reduplicate my DNA. I do know that much because I asked the girl, why do y'all need so much blood for a pregnancy test? Because y'all are getting samples and samples of my blood. And the reason y'all always try to put me on an EKG, y'all don't be checking for my heart. Y'all be checking for my baby's heart. Because I still got the little sticky marks where that shit done irritate my skin where y'all put it where my baby is at. Because y'all know that I'm pregnant. And y'all trying to cover it up because y'all know that's a male practice suit because y'all misdiagnosed me or y'all just trying to fucking cover it up, trying to kill me. It's one or the other. So I need a federal investigator that's into investigating hospitals, cricket hospitals. Because see, Riverside, y'all been doing stuff like this for a long time to people. Getting away, covering up shit, stealing people money and all that type of shit. But y'all will not get away with this. And somebody gonna, somebody gonna help me and save my baby. 